hey what's up guys this is JD from breast media and today we are going to learn how to pitch a remotization file and so the data into the list view so here we are going to start the project uh, I'm going to create a project uh, using Visual Studio Code so in the view menu we have command palette and a new project so let's name it uh, remote uh, json tutorial and i'm going to save it in my d drive So let the project to be complete, set up. Uh, waiting for completed. Okay, all done. So it's analyzing and let's remove all of these unnecessary comments. And the unnecessary class here. All right, uh, I want to change the home page to remote session. Uh, and it's still uh, analyzing, that's why it's not giving me any error. So let's change the color to pink. And the analyzing is still running so it is not showing me any error but it have to show some error because the remote json is not imported it okay so let's go to the pub inspected yaml file and add the http dependencies http then 0 0.12 dot 0 plus 3 and let's save it it's uh, running but i think i forget to give a space in http okay and save it again so plotter package get is running here After complete it, we'll get the exit code zero. Okay, we have exit code zero. That means we have a problem in my app. That is, we haven't import the remote JSON file here. So now I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, let's name, uh, name it model and create a model class which is employee dot dart uh, let's create employee class here so employee and final int emp id final string emp name final string emp department final string emp img for the employee image and let's assign the values to this dot emp id and this dot emp name this dot emp or oh sorry department and this dot emp img so our model is ready here and analyze also complete uh, 
now let's create another file which is remote json dot dart right input the necessary packages here so let's start with the flutter package material flutter right material dot dart so next one is import dart right async another one is import package then http slash http dart as http input another class uh, that is dart convert again import the model class now import package and in package we have the remote json tutorial and it's inside the model so choose the model one and we have employee dot dart file here so we can create a stateful widget here stf and let's name the class to remote json okay we are ready to go here and now we can start with the future and we have list list of employee which will take the get employee and from async now define variable for emp data uh, which will await for http and get let's post the url i already have a url in my localhost uh, which is using the ip address and let's close it here then var json data equals to json dot decode and decode to in emp data dot body so let's <coughs> import the value to import the package to main dot dart so that we will not have any error here so it's, it's the file and save it there is no error all right again we will create a list of employee as employees which will have array value uh, let's uh, look to parallel par emp in json data now we can assign value so here employee employee equals to employee emp and emp id next one is the emp emp name another one is emp department and the one is emp ing 
all right close it so we have all of the value in for loop and now employees dot add employee so we can return this value let's return the value employees all right now in our build context we are going to use scaffold instead of container and in this scaffold i'm going to use a bar which is a power widget which include title and the text widget let's title it read remote vision tutorial now let's call the body here and container inside container i'm going to use child class which will call the future builder and in the future builder we are using future which will call get employee and now we are going to use builder and in builder we are going to build context as context async snapshot as snapshot let's check if the snapshot have value or not otherwise we will get some error so snapshot dot data double equals to null then we will show the loading text here so return uh, container and inside the container we will use the child class center which will have child text and let's keep the value to loading and now i need to close here and uh, i think one of the bracket is still missing so let's close it else return list view Builder and let's count the item snapshot dot data dot length. So item builder build context. which is context and the second parameter is integer type of index then return list style so I have some error here let's uh, remove the error first uh, So I am going to use leading for images circle avatar 
and in the circle tab I am going to use a background image which is network image and the URL for the image is snapshot dot data which is index dot emp ing so we have leading image here then I am going to call the title in the title we can use the text which will come from snapshot data then emp name and the subtitle is text snapshot dot data dot department so we have complete the code and there seems to be some error uh, let me check the errors and I have removed the errors here everything is fine and let's start debugging and choose the emulator Alright, the app is running and we can see the loading. When the remote recent data will fetch and load, the loading is gone. And this seems to be perfect and working well. So I have some items hidden in this. this view let's check it all right all of the data have been loaded here successfully so I'm going to stop here this episode see you guys in the next episode have a nice day